Yes, that video you just watched there was an incident that happened in the reception of the Black Stars Hotel last night. Uh, apparently, a fan was not happy and a verbal abuse towards the head coach, uh, Coach Chris Hutting. It's quite interesting that the Black Stars a security guy who sacked journalists was nowhere to be found. And apparently, according to the report, the guy was uh, apprehended. But it's been confirmed that that's not the case. Well, we'll leave that for later. Today was another interesting day to be up and about in the town of Ivory Coast. That's Senegal where thrashing Gambia 3-0. I was trying to sort out my internet issues. Yes, this video is about Kudus Mohammed and Coach Chris Hitting attack. I've clarified one, but the Kudus update will come later. So, yeah, I was waiting for my friend uh, to help me uh, get an MTN MiFi uh, because my internet situation has not been great so far, I think. I've been using what the media gives us at the media room and sometimes when you're out and about trying to get content and all that you need internet i'm now sorting that out so over to the mtn office i go and uh, we had to cross the road a couple of times before we got there and uh, we did eventually get there but let me touch on kudus muhammad and the news is that following that poor showing last night kudus muhammad is set to join the ghana national team yes the ghanaian uh, has not been 100 percent fit he said himself in an interview with the fa that um uh, he's not 100 percent and he's been recuperating well let me pause for that for now i've came to a local chopper as you call it in ghana and they were frying some kelly willy here this is what we call kelly willy it's not called kelly willy uh, this is not called kelly willy and i saw palm not so being uh oh the farm that's what i will call it in my ever language oh the farm uh, they are preparing palm nut soup. I said, okay, let me get some palm nut soup for myself. But my good friend here got some interesting food for herself. She got fufu with light soup. Yes, that's how their fufu looks like. Oh, that's how their fufu looks like. It looks like plantain. Only plantain has been pounded. That's how their fufu looks like. This is what I got for myself. Rice. And uh, this is palm nut soup. Yes, rice and palm nut soup with fish. And this is a Senegalese dish. Chete, as it's called. I went to the local farm looking for fruits. I've been in town and I've not gotten any fruits to eat. I think it's not quite healthy for me to do that. So I decided to go to the local market to get some fruits. This was a shop inside a supermarket and uh, i didn't see the fruit i wanted i saw plenty chicken and this is how the uh, chicken is in the supermarket i saw some vegetables also here it's it's been quite an interesting day and i think there was more vegetables here i saw as well and uh, everything was looking fresh uh, more meat this is fish very very big big fish also here being so then it's quite interesting the way it is packaged for you to select and it will be done for you i've not seen it like this packaged in ghana but well this is how it's done in africa so you can see more of the red fish this time here and uh, yeah that was it i didn't get my fruits here I didn't like the fruits that I saw. I just don't like supermarket fruits. But eventually I got what I wanted and it was quite interesting. Kudus Mohammed news next. And last night after that poor showing versus Cape Verde, coach Chris Hutting is said to require the services of Kudus Mohammed. The Ghanaian yesterday I think was named on the bench but could not play a part it's clear that kudus mohammed will probably miss the african cup of nations but with the way things are going he will need to be deployed as well yeah as i said a couple of days ago a week or two ago i said kudus mohammed might not be able to make the african cup of nations and most of you were coming for my head it's something that i just noticed and you guys thought i was saying something that was out of order We've seen a similar story like this before and I've been here long enough to know when the FA are trying to play around with stuff and yeah, it was obvious. Kudus Mohammed might be a doubt for the Ghana Black Stars but uh, looking at how things are going, he might be called on earlier than anticipated. The first game, he was bound to miss it. The second game, we cannot afford to lose. So all the essential personnel 
will be deployed. Kudus Mohamed is set to join the national team. After a poor showing uh, versus Cape Verde, it is imperative that Ghana do not let up. They do not slip up and uh, they dare not slip up. That is how things are right now. And it's sure going to be a do or die affair versus Egypt, who themselves almost slipped up a late uh, goal uh, for Mohamed Salah from the sports, saved the Ablashes and got them a point at least versus Mozambique, who are on the verge of getting three points along with Cape Verde. Yeah, so it's 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 been quite an interesting one here, uh, following the Ghana Black Stars here at the stadium in Ivory Coast and everything. But this is today's update. Kudus Mohammed is set to join the team. Tomorrow I'll be doing a live session. We'll talk about the team a bit better, delve into it and look at how the other teams are also doing. Another win for Senegal and their young style, 20 year old, doing amazing things with Senegal. It's, it's just admirable. It's just beautiful to see how Senegal are thriving in this African Cup of Nations. But you'd only sit back and wish that your country Ghana could do something similar. And uh, we can only wish and pray. Uh, so that has been it for today. Talking to you about uh, Kudus Mohammed, the attack on her Black Stars coach. Well, not an attack, verbal abuse of Black Stars coach, a Chris Hutting, in the uh, corridors of the hotel the Black Stars team were based in. It's, it's a time which uh, Ghana find themselves in a difficult spot. And uh, the record is that we've won just one of the last 10 African Cup of Nations game. That let it sink in. We are not good. We are not good. We are nowhere near good. Uh, we should stop trying to tout ourselves as a team that can contend with the powerhouses in African football. Even Gambia that lost 3-0 to Senegal. Uh, they are a team which uh, played so magnificently well. If they should face Ghana, they might probably beat them. So we are in a hot spot right now. And Coach Chris Hilton did not help matters with the substitutions yesterday. After going with a, a player who is more progressive and one who sits back, he changed everything and looked like he wanted to settle for 1-1 one, one versus Cape Verde. Yes, he, he looked like he wanted to settle for that. And uh, he got punished, rightly so. Cape Verde were the better side, in all honesty. And if Ghana had won it, probably it would have been against the balance of play. And uh, a draw would probably have been a disservice to them. They played magnificently well. And Coach Chris Hilton, uh, going into default settings, uh, did not help himself at all. Chris Hilton did not help himself at all and did not help us in the end. But that is how things ended. 2-1 uh, loss. We go again on a Wednesday final training session on Thursday, uh, 8 p.m. once again versus the Egyptians in the same stadium. We'll see how that one goes. But before then, Ivory Coast will take on Nigeria, who themselves are in a hot bubble themselves. They, however, did not lose. They drew and uh, they have a chance. The hosts, however, will have something to say about it. We'll see what happens in the next two games. But interesting score lines for Senegal. A Cameroon drawing. We'll see how uh, the rest of the competition goes tomorrow when we do a live session. And We'll get your questions that you want to ask Coach Receiving in the second pre-match press conference. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week.